Victor Garber is a four-time Tony-nominated Broadway star who is back on the boards in a big way as the romantic foil to Bernadette Peters in Hello, Dolly. Over a 45-year New York stage career, this well-loved leading man has delivered unforgettable performances in Death Trap, Sweeney Todd, Lend Me a Tenor, Art, Assassins, and so many more. And that doesn't even touch his film and TV career. Any alias, Titanic, or Legends of Tomorrow fans out there? Hear Garber talk about his early start, those iconic career highs, and the wonderful woman he shares the stage with on this week's show, People. Hello, Victor. So good to see you. Well, nice to see you. I'm so, I, I have to tell you, I have been a fan of you my entire life. I'm so happy you're here. Since I'm so big, happy, I'm so happy to get to have this moment with you. I've seen you in so many things over the years. So well, I'm thank so, you. That's so, so nice. Thank you for being here. I'm delighted. To and thank you for being back on Broadway in a musical. I was not expecting this. Nor was I. <laughs> no, this was, it came out of the blue for me, and I was so, so grateful that it did. You are in Hello, Dolly. It's like a reboot of Hello, Dolly, right? Another yeah. reboot of Hello, Dolly. Yes, another one. You're in there with Bernadette Peters, mm -hmm. fantastic Bernadette Peters, the gorgeous Amazing. Bernadette Peters. Yes. And you're Horace, Horace Vandergelder. I am Horace Vandergelder, and uh, a, a role I never uh, thought about playing and, uh, or aspired to, and it came kind of just you know, from heaven. And yeah. uh, I, I said, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm going to do that. You're a curmudgeon. I don't think you're normally going for the curmudgeon roles. Well, you haven't seen me in the early in the morning. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a great role because he's just a, he's a, you know, he's a man who thinks he's got everything under control and has nothing under control. And, and it's like so many people in life, and myself included, you're awakened to what's really going on. And it's a, and it's a beautiful story about a relationship that, that you know, she, she sets it up right off the bat. I'm going to marry him. So you know that's the plan, right. and yet somehow the, the way to it is so circuitous and, and fun and, and, and unexpected that even when it happens, you're saying, oh, it happened. Right. It's, it's fantastic. So let's talk about the mustache. <coughs> to me, this is the number one topic. Ah. This is not a look I'm used to seeing no, on you. Nor, no, it's, it's um, you know, one, when I knew I was going to do it, I was actually finishing a TV series in Vancouver, yeah. playing a Martin Stein on Legends of Tomorrow. Yes. And who I didn't have uh, any facial hair, and, and I thought I better start because I didn't know what, you know how, like, like there's no hair here. This uh. is an interesting conversation. But there's no, like it stops you mean you here. You can't grow hair over there? No, it just stops. You know, oh. some people can grow a full beard, but I just, the, these little patches here. Oh, really? And when I, so I, I was trying to grow this, and uh, <laughs> anyway, fortunately, everything came through on, on, the, on the mustache because I wanted a period look. Yeah, it's very period. So this is not something you you rock when you're not on camera. This is not like your weekend look. No, but I'm. But you know, I'm sort of used to it, and I kind of like it. And we'll see how this. It might last a little longer than than the show. Oh, oh, no, who knows? Oh, maybe you'll have a whole new a whole new thing. Well, it'll be fascinating for everyone to know. A whole career sure. of curmudgeons with mustaches, with yeah. period mustaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any maintenance with it? There should be more than I'm giving it. <laughs> I can tell you that because I now feel like I'm eating my mustache every time I eat something, and it's oh, that's my. It's my mustache. I'm not, you know, I think, oh, is there a hair in my mouth? Yes, it's your mustache. <laughs> so, uh, but it's, uh, it's perfect for this part, and yeah. uh, I, I like the way it looks. I'm glad you're liking it. Yeah. Yeah, I, no I like it too. Thank so you. So, that Bernadette Peters, she... What about her, that nightmare? She's something. She is, uh, you know, I've known Bernadette for many years. Right. And, uh, we haven't actually, we've worked together. You've been in Brandy movies together. Brand, <laughs> Brandy movies. <laughs> like Cinderella. Yeah, like one. And we basically... <laughs> I don't even think we spoke on the on the right. stage that right. day, but but of course I've known her and and, and I've I've been a complete gushing fan for years, and uh, this has been like a, a dream for me to work with her in, yeah. in this capacity. And the good news is we really like each other, so we're having a great time. What is your um, Desert Island Bernadette Peters original cast recording? It would be Sunday in the Park, oh, right? I mean, yes, but there are others. But that that would that's that springs to mind immediately because um, that was an indelible production yeah. uh, on everyone's part yeah. and and uh, one of my most treasured experiences. Absolutely, yeah. you guys got your start around the same time, but she was a little more established. I think like, she started. She, yeah, she was early. Yeah, she's from Queens, you know. Right. I'm from Ontario, so it took me a long, a little longer. It gave to her get a head here. start. Yeah, <laughs> she only had to get on the subway. That's right. <laughs> but she she. 
She got on that subway. She's, uh, yeah, she's been doing it for a long time. You guys have amazing chemistry together. And I think well, it's thanks. really, the last time I saw the show, the, the, the final scenes are just so beautiful. And, and your final moments together, did, I teared up. I mean, oh. it, it was, it's really beautiful what you guys have together. Thanks. Do you, thanks. Do you have a sense of chemistry with people like ahead of time? Did you did something in rehearsal? Do yes. you feel that click? Definitely. I mean, listen, you know, my role as an actor is to have chemistry with everybody. Uh, right. Sometimes it's more acting than not. Right. And with Bernadette, it, it just, it was sort of instant. And I, I just I fell in love with her. It was so easy because she's, uh, she's a remarkable person, mm -hmm. an extraordinary talent, and, and so generous. You know, there's no, it's never about her. I mean, of course it's about her because she wants to be great, mm -hmm. uh, which I also just love about her. And she just never, she never stops working, mm -hmm. you know, to, to make something better. And she's still talking about moments that I said, it's great, what are you talking about? You know, That's <laughs> fine, don't worry about it. You know, and she's like, no, I think if, I said, great, do whatever you want. Because the thing for, for me is that Dolly dictates everything. Uh -huh. Even though Horace thinks he's running the show. Right. She is running everything. And he doesn't, you know, he's being manipulated the yeah. entire time. Uh, and that's, of course, the fun of, of playing the role. But the the chemistry aspect you know it's definitely helps i think in a, in a situation like this to 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 it's so easy to just look at her and say wonderful woman because every night i'm just amazed at w what she does and you're singing um yes i am singing again and uh that's been uh really great because i i sort of have gi had given up singing completely because why I, did you give it up because i just i because i just felt like i had lost the ability to really sing the way I um, could hear myself, huh. you know, okay. and I, I couldn't do it anymore. And then Joan Later, the great Joan Later, yeah. kind of brought me back to earth, and um, I'm I'm much better, and I feel much more confident. Well, you sound wonderful. I, I'm Thank glad, you. I'm glad you're singing at the Schubert Thank Theater. Thank you so much. All yes. right, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be back with more Victor Garber. Back with Victor Garber. So happy you're here, sir. Thank you. I'm happy. Is it okay to be if I call here. you sir? Yeah. Yes. You prefer you Victor. Can. Well, Victor. Yeah, because yeah. I'm I'm old and and I, I just <laughs> like to not to be reminded of it all the time. <laughs> you grew up in Canada. I did. You're a Canadian, which is a fact I forget for some reason. But I lived here much longer than I lived in right. Canada. But yeah. Right. Growing up, what was your uh, favorite afternoon TV talk show? Mike Douglas. Oh, Mike Douglas. Yeah. Yeah. I once stayed home from school because Barbara Streisand was on for a week. A week? Yes, yeah, he used to have guests on for a week. So you were like, I'm out this way, no, no school. I'm not, I'm not leaving this room <laughs> because I was just obsessed with her. Like everybody yeah. was, you know, coloring book was, was out. Yeah, and, it was early. And yeah. it was like, uh, it was just the, the beginning of everything, yeah. essentially. And anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so Mike Douglas, uh, that was, uh, that was my, my, it was but afternoon show. There was also a show, a lady named Hope uh, Garber. Oh. Also Garber, had my mother. Your mother, had, was that yes. she was like a TV personality. She yeah. was, yes. She yeah. had a TV show when I was growing up in London, Ontario called At Home with Hope Garber. It wasn't filmed at your home, was it? No, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no that would have been a disaster. <laughs> she was one of the worst housekeepers ever. Okay. Uh, Everything on camera was so. perfect. Everything yeah. off oh my God. <laughs> she was like, her, her cooking sessions and her her, you know, cleaning uh, on, the, on the set were magnificent. Uh -huh. She was a very glamorous, talented woman who was ahead of her time. And she was a great singer. She used to be a band singer uh, uh, before I was, you know, was born. And um, she continued to sing well into her later life. And yeah, she was, um, she was a celebrity. And wow. uh, I grew up with her, you know, shining in our house. So you got to see people like interact with your mom and you kind of knew she was famous early on. Oh yeah, no, it was, she was definitely, yeah, I, I was very aware of that. And also she would go to New York to see Broadway musicals and she was the one who introduced me to, and she took me to see West Side Story oh. at the O'Keeffe Center when I was about 12. It was the f national tour, the first national tour. And I was young and, and, and I, I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. You know, She took me to see Milk and Honey. Wow, yeah. At the tour. Uh, at the O'Keeffe Center, uh, and and so and, and there was the local theater in London, Ontario, and the people that started that theater or that that, that came in and, and kind of took took over the theater when I was a kid started something called a ch children's theater program. Okay, and I signed up right away, and that was really the beginning, and that that paved the way for everything. And the theater honored me a couple of years ago oh. uh, because that's kind of where I started, and uh, it, was, it was the beginning of everything. For 
And what kind of shows did you do there? I did Tom Sawyer, oh. memorable production. <laughs> um, I did, uh, I did uh, the last thing I did there, I think, was Roar of the Grease Paint, oh. which they brought me back in. I was, had already moved to Toronto. And oh, yeah, uh, it was like bringing back one of the <laughs> famous... Uh, it's so yeah. hilarious to think that, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I uh, uh, I did uh, you know I, I did lots of plays lots mm -hmm. of plays mm -hmm. and was so your mom uh, always like your biggest cheerleader when yes. in your entire yes. career yes I mean yeah she was just uh, you know I I I'm so sad that she for many reasons that she's not here but this Hello Dolly would have mm. been the you know the icing on the cake right up her alley oh like perfect like yeah. you finally did this is the perfect yeah. thing but she saw a lot I mean she saw a lot of them. Yeah. So you started performing young, and then yes. and then this folk this this folk singing career started. Right? Oh, you no, were, you were I, I forgot. Yes. Did, did you forget that? that? No, 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 no. I just, did you forget yes. the chronology? That was before yeah. Sweeney Todd. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, that was <laughs> the folk singing. Yeah. That that I was always a folk singer. I played the guitar and and uh, influenced heavily by the f great folk singers of the day, Joan Baez and uh, Peter Paul and Mary and Judy Collins. Were you Collins and politically a, a, a natural folk singer or just the music? No, just the music. Okay. I mean, I didn't really, I, 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 I sort of came to that later. The, 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 yeah. My brother was more, he was a, they called a protest singer. Uh -huh. That's what they called right. him, yeah. protest singer. And no, I just was uh, just amazed by the, the, the purity and the clarity and the, and the simplicity of that music. Mm -hmm. I, that struck me very deeply. And then, yeah, so I, I had a folk singing group. And, the Sugar uh, Shop, yes. The Sugar Shop group came later and then we, we did an album and we were on Ed Sullivan and, and Johnny Carson show and uh, yeah. yeah, we were we became sort of known in, in, in America a little bit. Was that crazy to be on Johnny Carson? Yeah, cra completely crazy. I mean, yeah. I mean, you were young. When I think about it now, I think, did that really happen? But it did. It happened? Yeah, it did. Do you have tapes of it? And I don't. Somebody just uh, uh, brought the album to be signed at really? the stage door the other day and I signed it and I took a picture of it and sent it to Marty Short yeah. who just, would laugh. We were in Godspell together. Yeah, great segue uh, into that. So this this production of Godspell, it yeah. was it was sort of your first big launching thing. It, it was. It, uh, it turned so out to be yes. Well, the sh the show was a hit in New York, and then it was in it was off Broadway, and then it went to Toronto, right? Yes, it went all over the. They, they set up uh, uh, companies because uh, it was so popular. There was a Boston company, a Chicago company, a okay. Toronto, and then a Toronto company. I think was one of the last sort of. S uh, where we sat in the theater. And uh, I was cast as Jesus, and it was Marty Short and Gilda Radner and Andrea Martin and Eugene Levy, and, yeah. and Paul Schaefer was the musical director. Yes. And so people I'm, you know, still very close to. It's become a legendary production. Yeah, but at well, the time, yes. it was just this amazing group of talented people. A bunch of nutty, people, nutty kids. But it was kind know? of weird. There was something in the water there. I mean. It was, I, uh, but I remember thinking at the time that I was surrounded by some extraordinarily talented and funny people. I mean, Gilda was, she was before she was Gilda Radner, yeah. she just was this f hilarious woman, you know, yeah. girl. And Marty, Eugene, I mean, they, they were, I, I was aware that something was like, oh, this is special. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming you heard there was a gospel movie being made. I think I must have known about it, but I didn't have any, the director of the movie was going around to see all the productions that okay. were out, out there because he wanted to cast somebody who you know, it was like a you know, one of those very low budget movies. They need, they couldn't really, they didn't have a lot of time, so they were looking to see if they could cast from. And a lot of the original people were already in it, cast, uh -huh. <clears throat> but they didn't have a Jesus. And uh, see, so okay. David Green came to the opening night, and I read it in the paper the next, I think the next day that that they were cons considering me to play Jesus, and then I was cast. It's crazy. It's yeah. amazing. So it was a lot yeah. of the New York company, and then you. Some of the New York company. That guy from Toronto. They yeah. Brought in that guy yeah. That from Canadian. Toronto. They were, you know. The Canadian. Jesus. Fortunately, I found my way, and they they were they were accepting. What was Broadway like back then? I mean, it's so different now. What was it like to be on Broadway back then? And well, I mean, I I didn't get to be on Broadway till long after I got here. But, right. But I do remember my first Broadway show was I think Tartuffe. Uh, Shadowbox. Circle Square. Shadowbox. Well, I was uh, yes, I was standing by okay. in Shadowbox. I don't. Okay. Consider that, but yes, right, that was my right, first okay. job. <clears throat> wow, you have done your homework. Uh, Tartuffe, though, I think w at the Circle in the Square was yes. considered Broadway. It right. is considered Broadway, and that was my first job on Broadway. Right, and then of course Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd, along. yes. And you got to meet Stephen Sondheim. Yes, that which was, was a dream. Complete. Yes, it was. Uh, it was honestly um, Stephen Sondheim was one of the reasons I came to New York because in my anyone mind, anyone can whistle. Anyone can whistle. Yes, I love that cast yeah. album too. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what I listened to in Toronto and said, one day I'm going to meet him and work for, with him. Who knew? You secreted it, as they say now. 
I guess so. You yeah. made it happen. I guess so. Is it? Is it? And, and I mean, it happened. So something, something was at work. I, you know, I do believe intention is an important tool in life. Clear intention. Yeah. Speaking of Sondheim, I, I do love Assassins, and I, I do too. I saw that production at Playwrights Horizons. And that was it special. Was, it was yeah. fantastic. Thank you. I remember at the time, actually, it was kind of a disappointment because it didn't move to Broadway, right? That it was, was sort uh, of the hope. Oh yes, it was yeah. the hope, and and then later was revived by Joe Mantello yes. in a beautiful production. Yes, that was spectacular. Yeah, but I think it was uh, it was during a, a very tricky political time. Yes, and you know it it, it was it was too uh, controversial. Mm-hmm. You know, right? Uh, but it it's remains one of the great I yeah. think, uh, creations. We need the gun song right about now. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> we need so many things right now, <laughs> but yes, it's just uh, it's just. Hair raising what's yeah. happening. There's so much to talk about with you. We're going to take another break. We'll be back with more Victor Garber. We are back with Victor Garber, one of my favorites. Thank I like when you. my favorites show up and sit oh, on I'm the white. Ha- I'm, I'm, I'm not leaving. I'm going to be here for the rest of the day. <laughs> Speaking of sitting, how do you feel about sitting for portraits? What do you mean? Well, I've seen paintings of you. Oh, Reiner, my partner. Yes. He, no, he no. Yes. He's Reiner right, Andreessen, right? He's, Reiner Andreessen is a great artist. A he's a great artist. And he does I'm this. Jealous of. Oh, he just takes a photo. That's it. So you're not sitting there. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> no, I no. We, we, it's all off a photograph. Well, yeah. I mean, he he sets it up because it has to be perfect lighting and right. okay. you know, and then he he that's his reference, and then. He, ex- he, it, he goes from there, but yeah, no, he doesn't. I was stuff. picturing you sitting there for a whole weekend, just like not moving. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm watching, I'm watching MSNBC or Broadway.com. <laughs> Thank let, you. Let I appreciate get, that. Like he's painted a lot of uh, the yeah. actors that I know. Yeah. And I'm jealous because I kind of want one because well, I just feel like know, he's so talented and you have ca- like, just give me some I'm cash. Send him a I'll, photo. Get you, I'll get you. I'm going to send him a photo <coughs> and a <coughs> check and I'm going to get and one of those you, paintings. It's yours. <laughs> yeah, no, he's uh, he's great. They're they're very moody portraits mostly, uh-huh. mostly. and uh, yeah, I mean he's done things for like family ones where they're kind of like kids and everything, and yeah. he's but he always manages to find something to to make it a little more uh, interesting. And they're so masculine. Yeah, right. I mean they're so well, like, they're so butch. D- depending on who it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not they're not all, but uh, yeah. Was he doing that kind of painting when you met him? Yeah. Art was always his passion, and now it's just gotten more and more. And he's, you know, because of Instagram, he's gotten more work and more yeah. com- commissions, and he's, he's actually, he's doing a lot of commissions. Yeah. His Instagram account is actually a must-watch because he announced you got married on his Instagram account. Isn't that yes, true? Yes, he did. I think he did. Did you know he was doing that? And he also announced you were going to be in Hello, Dolly on his Instagram. Yes, that was, that was, a, <laughs> un, uh, that was an innocent mistake. I know, I understand. Because he thought he was sending a private message to somebody. Oh, no, a, really? Yeah, blew up. yeah, he had no, it was just sort of oh. saying, you know, because he, he was sending it to a friend who, you know, but he thought it was a private message, and okay. so it turned out not to be in it. So technology, technology. Yeah, so I, which is why I don't do anything. And I know that you are notoriously private, and now, now you're kind of not. Yeah, like you I guess came so. out, but in your eyes, you were just kind of like, no, I just don't, I don't yeah, talk I'm about never, it. Yeah, I never really, you know, I, I'm not really, I don't really want to know per people's personal, uh, actors' personal lives. Because you prefer to keep the mystery well, and, y- yeah, I mean, and I the performances. Not, I, I just think it's, it's turned into something else now. Uh-huh. It's, you know, this is different. This is obviously a different thing than, but I mean, it's just the, 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 the social media ha- thing. Yeah. You know, I have I have some problems with it. And yeah. Uh, so I don't, so I just don't participate. I'm not on Facebook and I'm not right. on you. I don't do any of that stuff. I, I ha- do have an Instagram account that I keep forgetting I have. <laughs> but I promote diabetes, type 1 diabetes, which yes. is, uh, I am, and, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and Alzheimer's, which my parents had. And mm-hmm. I, I talk about things that are meaningful to me. And, mm-hmm. and of course, my, my personal life is just my personal life. Mm-hmm. What, do, what do you like to do when you're not acting? Like what is, what is, I like what having dinner. Dinner, okay, a good With dinner. Friends. What's uh, like a great meal for you? Um, well, Reiner cooks great salmon oh. and, uh, and roasted vegetables and just a l- touch of red wine. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm only drinking on Sundays now. Oh, during the show. Week. Okay, yeah. Yeah, which is like a after, new, after the a week's new over. thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Um, but I won't be drinking tonight, which is my day off, because tomorrow I, re- I you know, go back on the show. So I. I just think it's a it's a better schedule, uh-huh. you know, for now. 
TV, movies? What are you into? Books? Like what do you oh, like? Oh uh, yeah, I mean I watch some, you know, I, I wish I read more. I'm really, I, I've got like so many books to read that I yeah. just say, oh I'll, I'll get that. And I'll, but I, I, for some reason I'm, I'm very easily distracted and, and then I'm trying to keep up with you know, my friends' television shows, the people who are on TV. And that it's I, a lot of work. And I'm also addicted to, to the news and so I'm wa always watching that, um, which is ridiculous. I try to do Pilates mm -hmm. and I meditate in the morning. And that's it. What do people talk to you about the most? Like at the stage door or like what do, what do people reference? I, I, besides so Sugar Shop, sorry. Besides Sugar Shop, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a steady. Um, <laughs> you know, Titanic. Oh yes, Titanic, that, that, that little thing, yeah. That one. And then Legends of Tomorrow, because of the, 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 there's such a massive following, especially of kids, yeah. which I love that. And then you know, then you get the hardcore Broadway people, yes. where, you know, where they remember, you know, lend me a tenor or Sweeney Todd or Sweeney Todd, you know, yeah. stuff like that. So, yeah. so honestly, it's it's kind of all over the map, and and that's frankly the most gratifying thing for me as an actor because because I I just set out to do as many different kinds of things as I could do, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm I love that that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. That Annie movie was good too. Oh, that yes. Daddy Warbucks. Rob Marshall. That was yeah. That was like he, Rob he Marshall's first thing. Well, he directed and choreographed that. He, yeah. he also choreographed Cinderella. Yes. It was oh directed right, by yeah. Rob Iscove, but um, and Neil Marin and Craig Zaden produced all of those show, those those musicals, which were so much fun to do. And you're saying NYC, which is like one of my favorite. Songs. Yes, I and I that. and I married Audrey McDonald. Yeah. So that's, that's <laughs> heaven. Heaven. So can you think of any other uh, dream things you could do with Bernadette Peters? I don't know. I could. Can you no, imagine? You, you, you have to tell me because I, I always wait for someone to say, "Oh, you should do this." Right. Think, All right, I'll do that. Right. I never can think of things to do. So you really just kind of react to what comes to you. You're not. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, honestly, the, my, my 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 intention, as I was talking about earlier, is just to find great roles right. and work with great people. Right. And so far, I've been really lucky. Yeah, it sounds like you're nailing it. If that's the, well, if, that, if that was the goal today, when you yes. were a kid, I mean. Like, yeah. No, it's uh, kind of is a dream. Right, and so now we're going to see what the mustache can bring. What Are the mustache can bring, and then new you know, headshots, maybe new mustache headshots. You don't need headshots. They call where, you. What century are you in? <laughs> no, they don't do headshots. I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm shocked by that. I keep thinking, do I need a headshot? I don't think so. Um, no, <clears throat> I mean, the the thing is, you know, you never know what's on the next. What's what's yeah. going to come across your t your desk? Right. Let's talk about the audiences at Hello Dolly. They lose their oh minds. Oh my God, it's so joyous. It's yeah. like a, the number of people who have said to me, thank you for making me forget everything for two and a half hours. It's like, it's really palpable in, in the theater. You just, it's overwhelming. And uh, that is, what could be better than that? I mean, as, as to participate in that, and by the way, it's an entire company of people who are just so on it. Everybody in our show is, just magnificent, you know. It's like I, I marvel at the, the talent and the, and and the sweetness uh, of this company. It's fantastic. Yeah. Anyone who saw the original when it <laughs> opened with Bette Midler and David Hyde Pierce, go again. It's it's incredible. I, I I enjoyed it so much watching it again. It's like a whole new show, and Thanks. you and Bernadette are just heaven heaven together. Like Thank I you. had so many like reminding me why I love Broadway moments watching you two up there. That's so uh, the best. I'm so grateful for that. That and the Ballad of Booth, which I listen, to, which I do listen to every week. I'll I'll sing that after we. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by, it's Victor. A pleasure. Thank uh, you. I hope to see you again on Broadway. You know, hey. gracious, gracious with your presence. Don't, don't be know. a stranger. You never know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>